the top of your nose. I'm, oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh, help, 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 Detective Jason Dunoff. I'm here investigating a murder. Murder? Who's murder? Hey, Nick, let me see some identification, please. The person murdered happens to be hanging out in that coffin back there. What? Patrick? I thought he had a heart... I know. The cause of death was listed as a heart attack. But we have new evidence to suggest that foul play may have been a factor in his death. Patrick didn't have a heart attack? No, he did have a heart attack. But there's nothing to indicate that he had the back of his head on anything. See, he had a five-inch long laceration on the back of his head. Which leads us to believe he was struck with an object of some kind which led to the wound, which led to the heart attack, and subsequently caused his death. Is his family aware of this? No one can know this, Father. Why? Because everybody here is a suspect, including his family in there. Who would want to murder Patrick? He was such a kind and giving man. You were his priest. You actually think you'd see a different side of him? I think not. Look, I don't understand this. I'm going on a hunch here. I think the murderer is going to be here at this funeral today. And it's up to me to expose this person. It's as simple as that. Don't you have a partner or someone else that can help you with I'm this? I'm on my own here, Father. Like I said, this is just a hunch. And hunches usually don't involve backup officers. That's why I need you to help me. Can you? What can I do? I am so sorry, sweetie. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, yes. You know that casserole pot you bought a few years ago? A casserole pot? You know, the one with non-stick coating and glass lid? Oh yeah, I think I do remember that now. Would you please return it to me? To borrow means to take or receive something temporarily, with intent to return. I'm sorry, sweetie. I did intend on returning that to you. Oh, when? In five years? When all of that non-stick coating shit is scraped off and all of your cooked beef is steamed to the steel bottom? Look, sweetie, you're under a tremendous amount of stress. We'll talk about this at a later date. Date? I guess I'll have to start doing that all over again. Too. Do you know what I want? I'll tell you what I want. 
I want to be at home with the kids and hear his old clunk of Chevette pull up in my driveway. Back far and at least twice. I want my front door to swing wide open and him to be standing there. Smile on his face. Six pack in his arm. I want him to lean over and give me a peck on the cheek. And know that he's going to spend the day with me and my family. Safe, happy, and most importantly, a love. That's what I want.
is for me? Look, something's got to give here. I need something to go on. Father Vernon's eulogy is about to begin. Captain Mitchell would have my balls on a platter if he knew I was here. Well, just cover for me, all right? Yeah, dig up anything you can, anyone remotely connected to this, and I'll call you back in ten minutes, all right? Good.
this will all be over soon enough. I'm just glad Mom and Daddy aren't here to see this disgrace. Yeah, you know how Mom felt about Wendy anyhow. She would have stuck her cane right up Wendy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy bent over with a cane sticking out of her butt. She looked like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs>
first of all, let me apologize for all the confusion that's been going on here in the past few days. Patrick's death has affected us all in a very sorrowful way. Death is inevitable. And we all know that it will someday come knocking at our door. Although most of us hope that that someday is a, quite a way off. And I'm sure that Patrick thought that way too. He was a good man and he lived life to the fullest each and every day. And he made some mistakes along the way, as most of us do. But in the end, I am sure that all was forgiven. Oh my God! Exactly how sure are you forgiveness has granted, Father Vernon? What happened? Why don't you ask the good Father Vernon what happened? I don't know what he's talking about. How many of you people here belong to Father Vernon's church? Now tell me, haven't there been an awfully high number of deaths in your parish over the last year or so? The fact is, people, 13 of your fellow parishioners have died this past year. All of them. Supposedly an accidental death of some kind. Only three of those deaths involved an elderly person. What do you make of this? And by the way, there's a dead woman in the ladies' room. You don't want to go in there. I have to. All right, Vernon. That's it. You're coming with me. You're under arrest for the murder of Patrick Wickles. I've got backup on the way. I you have, have, I have rights. Out of yeah, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, you we're going to provide one. You killed my sister. Well, your That's sister it. was a whore. She was the one having sex with your You're husband. Liar. I had Patrick in my confessional last week. He confessed thinking all would be fine. What hypocrisy. What blasphemy. It sickens me, you know, people sinning like it's nothing, and then feeling guilty about themselves, so they go to confessional, do their penance, thinking all is forgiven. And you know what? A day, a week, a month, a year later, they're out committing these horrible sins again. And you know what they're thinking about when they're doing it? I'll just go to confession, do my penance, and all will be forgiven because you know what? Basically, I'm a good person. Well, that's not how it works. No way in hell. They're all hypocrites. Hypocrites? If these people are hypocrites, then what does that make you? Huh? You put up this facade that you're actually here to help people get through their sins, to be better people, and if they can't achieve this, they're too weak and must be killed for their sins. People look up to holy figures like yourself. You murder them. I say you're the ultimate hypocrite. You've just earned a seat in hell. Let's go. 